Hey everyone, it's Char from Shards Fashionation, and we are back for part two of finishing this skirt. Of course, this is the waistbanding and what you saw on the end of yesterday's video. Did I take a thumbnail for this? Absolutely, on my phone. That way I can edit in using the uh, YouTube studio youtube studio it's okay it's sort of got better since the first time it came out for uh editing now there were a few features back then that were better than what they are now but they are increasingly trying well we'll put it that way trying so i have put water in my iron black and decker i did clean it um we also have to make sure that this is on the right heat setting which would have to be cotton so cotton picket that's what we're going to do <laughs> i will show you something right here before we get to ironing and the iron dumped out a bunch of water so i think that's because those kind of irons are not used to being burned side down, you know, the hot plate side down. So this marks the front of the skirt, and we'll be back with the ironing now. Okay, so what I did was just take the green cup that I have back here that I had the water in to begin with, dump this upside down into it, and now we're good. Now I even ironed over where some of the water was left just to pick that up. So, what I'd like to try to do with this, because of that hem, now this should work better, hopefully. <laughs> it's Friday. Now, I will say today, I've kind of had a busy day. Um, I do watch other channels, and probably channels that you probably wouldn't expect me to watch. Um, or maybe you would. Like Adam Sandoval from Adam Sandoval Rides. Because it is going to be Harley Davidson's 120th anniversary. I called two Harley Davidson dealerships and I gotta tell you, man, work ethics. Like, are you a person picked up? Don't get me wrong. A person picked up at both places that I called and their managers weren't there like what I mean I understand they're busy but I didn't even receive a call back so I mean I'll give them till Monday it is what it is Adam is not going to ride until the weather is warm he has arthritis in his throttle hand so also it's a ride for um veterans again for raising um money for veterans because his dad was a veteran so anyway we're gonna get this iron shows you how my day has been <laughs> Oh my gosh. So. Yes, yeah, so let's turn this. Let's see how it looks on the other side. And press. Not that this is a pressing issue here. No. <laughs> we just, I love to press the fabric before I go any further. So I'm going to finish pressing this the skirt now and um we will be back with that okay so tonight i'm actually gonna try i've not had the best of mondays i couldn't breathe for part of the day so i just had to kind of chill but you know what we're not letting that stop me <laughs> so what i have right here is i have three of these these are 
common um, pieces that I make for a, a uh, oh, how can I say this? A button loop, right? So what I do, take this piece of fabric over here. So this is what I do, okay? Is I take the piece of fabric and I go like this, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I go like this and I take the other side, I roll it the same way, right? And then I roll it into itself like this, right? So you gotta make sure you have that in there correctly. And then I just basically take the clip and clip it. Now this is also, this is my way of doing this crap a lot easier than, this is a lot easier than a lot of other ways where people have to take the tool and then turn it right side out instead of what they say inside out. This is not the inside out. This is right side out. People have to be retaught what actually what is really what <laughs> lately. That's how I feel. Has anybody else ever felt that way? So anyway, I'm not going to do this one all the way like these. So this is just to give you a perspective of how I do that. So got to put these back over here. Keep that here where I always keep it. Take a drink of water and then we'll put that one on there. But, okay. So we are going to go ahead and put one on here. Now the other thing I do like to do when I'm doing this, what's a lot of do's? Diddlies. Okay. Let's be a little doofy on it, really. It's just enough money, money. <laughs> right. Just one of those Mondays. Have you had those before? I'm sure everybody has them. Put my foot pedal where I need it. And then try to keep that. Sometimes it does stupid shit. And it just... Because this is thick. Sometimes it doesn't want to do what we want it to. So sometimes this is what you have to do. Take your scissors or whatever you have that's thin and kind of help start that to press through. And sometimes what you need to do is hold it down a bit. And let it go through. Sometimes you have to do that. It's a thing. And if it becomes a little uneven on one side, don't worry about that. You know why? Because if it becomes uneven on that one side, nobody's really going to see it because you could use it as the underside of the button loop. So let me finish this button loop. We'll go put these on and we're, we're going to finish this. This is not going to be that long of a video. So I'll be right back. Okay. I'm using the window to reflect the screen back to me. <laughs> That's okay. So now that we are down to the wire here, we have three buttons. In which I chose these because they give a nice accent to the garment. I was like, should I do a black button? And then I put the black buttons in the same size on the garment. And I was like, you know what? That doesn't look right. So these buttons will actually be over here. But we will line them up with the hoop so when they go on 
this part goes inside it's got a little extra you know tug to it and which is what all of us want for comfort right so let's move the buttons button buttons who's got the buttons my bet it is the witch you know that's from buffy the vampire slayer <laughs> I used to watch that old show. Don't ask me why. I guess it was the thing back then, right? I'm talking about the TV show, not the crappy movie of it, which Pee Wee Herman was in, not a fan. <laughs> um, so I clip the end on these so that I know they're even. Cut them like this. Just want to cut off where that is. That's all you want to do. Where you see it's like this is where you want to um, do that. And then it cuts it even. And I have to apologize to Fossey Bear. I have to apologize to Jason. I went back and I looked on my knitting video for showing how to cast on I'm sorry Jason I will redo a video even if it's a short so that you can see how I cast on and cast over maybe I can do it like this so that you can see how I cast on and cast over I think that would probably be better than me sitting with the camera facing from my side over. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Anyway, I'm jib jabbering too much, so we'll just set these two here. Um, so, as you know, I have not yet sewn this part, obviously. Um, so, the clips on here will be quite helpful for that part quite helpful because when I do this I actually slip it between the pieces like you'll see just now um, I will slip that in there like that okay like this and then we have that loop and then what I do is I take both sides of that fabric and then clip that sucker shut and make sure that you have that on both sides of this. I don't, you see that on both sides of that so that you can see that even better. Now, if this button size won't fit that, then we can move to a different button size. Ooh, that does fit. Yay. So anyway, I'm going to put the other two on here. And then we're going to go over to the machine. And then I'm going to sew on the buttons. And then, <laughs> guess what? ta -da! Yay. Right? Let's see if I can do this again. Through the reflection. Okay, now that we are back and I've got these sewn on, isn't that nice? So, and I've got this side sewn shut. I've got the needle right here so that I can sew on the buttons. So here's the needle, like I put that there. And I was like thinking to myself, I'm like, well now, what kind of thread, what color of thread? I mean, I could use that same dark blue thread that I used through the whole process. But I'm like, you know what? Let's try to use something that matches the button, sort of. So I want to go with this thread. This color of thread is also commonly a color of thread that you would see in a lot of denim. Okay, and a, like your jeans, perhaps, and don't mind what this is because you don't get to see the whole thing. It's for a friend that dances. So anyway, and this is fabric scrap. Don't be afraid to use your fabric scrap. Um, as you can see, this goes great with denim because it's basically what we would use for that. So now that we've got 
the button ready to go on, we have to mark where we want them, basically. I'm going to scoot this over a little and turn you over here. I'm going to turn you over. <laughs> Not like that, though. So we need to make this match here. So this button will need to be here. And that way it lines up perfectly with this. Let me uh, scoot you down a bit so you can see that better. Anyway, <laughs> I'm looking in the reflection of the window to see how I'm looking for you. So anyway, like I said, we will put this one here. Um, and I left a, some give. And like I said, this is a very stretchy, very stretchy. So, okay. Now we're going to just bleed up there. Now we're going to use this thread. And I always have one of my favorite pair of scissors for sewing. I always leave my smaller pair at the sewing machine. I think you all know that by now. This is my fabric scissors. They are Sears. I'm watching the security light turn on right now. It's on. Whatever. It could be a possum, a raccoon. I was going to say something, but they probably ban me. It's the current. Because <laughs> that's lost in the woods. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to thread this needle and we'll get these buttons on and we'll be back. Okay, so there is one little trick that I have when it comes down to the buttons, right? You see this button there? It's nice, it's clean and everything because everything's all nice and clean. But wait, where's the thread that's holding this button on? Where is it? Okay, I I do have a little trick that I do. Um, it's a stitch from behind trick. So basically what I do is I find a spot behind the buttonhole, right? I pick up a few pieces of fabric on this side. I pull it. Now, when I'm doing this, we're going to pick a buttonhole to go back through. And guess what? When you pull it through on this side, push it through on this side, I mean, when you push that through on that side. Now, this button's secure. I'm going to go ahead and finish this button off, but look. Where's the thread? Now, I did the same trick on a garment that I made for Rich Lux um, last year. Made him a really cute pink garment last year. I'll leave that link in the description box. Um, so, what do you do when you have to tie this behind here and get it all naughty and everything? You just take it at the curb and keep on sewing. <laughs> I know that's one of my Auntie Shar things, but it's like, you might as well. I, I Like I said, I had issues today breathing. And uh, now he's finally home. Like, wow, that took forever for him to get home. Worried me. New Jersey is weirder. Okay, so... Before we uh, do anything else, like the two little threads that are right here, right, we're going to go ahead and we are going to clip those. And if they don't go all the way under there, I'm not really worried about it because, yeah, I'm really not that worried about it. Now, this is on here. I'm going to put the other two buttons on. 
and uh, show you a picture at the end. But meanwhile, stay happy, stay healthy, yes. stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Oh my gosh. And I'm glad that I'm getting to finish this, but before we leave, we need to test the button and the buttonhole. Sometimes you just have to work it a little. Also, I'm doing it this way, so that ain't so easy for me. <laughs> I'm used to hooking pants and stuff the other way, gosh darn. Anyway, there you go. It's, it's buttoned at the top, and um, time to get to see the finished product. And uh, I'll see you uh, for another knitting video, because I really feel bad that I didn't do it right, and I'm trying to find the button on here, too. Um, oh, there we go. All right. See you later.